we have a rule in rehearsal where um, we're not allowed to make sense of the play, which is quite an unusual rule to have. Um, but, I mean, some cast and crew members have come up with quite nice and lovely interpretations for what's going on, but um, all of them have proved a little bit fruitless. So the only way to really work at it is to kind of suspend um, a sense of rationality and kind of uh, just feel what seems to be right for that character at that period of time. The whole aesthetic of the play is really interesting because the setting is very ambiguous. You have this weird kind of semi-American, semi-English, without location, without time play and plot that focuses around these kind of horrible psychopathic characters and it produces some really interesting pieces of costume because you have to try and think about what these people would wear and also just how you make what these people wear describe or fail to describe where they are and what they're doing um, and also just in terms of the items we've had to source like it's been really really fun like um, I've got loads of stuff like leather trousers, feather boas, wigs, um, like velour tracksuits, um, satin pyjamas, just all the kind of odd stuff that you'd never really expect to find on stage has come together into this really fairly strange play. So what I've loved about producing the strip is that getting the technical team together was just really, really exciting because with this play, the technical team has such a creative role in the whole process. So first starting with sound, we've got Michael who's just created the most incredible playlist from the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. Our technical director is getting his pyrotechnics organised, so he's actually going to help us plan an explosion on stage, which is really quite incredible. And then our stage managers have gotten the longest set of props you could imagine for this play, because our set that's created by Jack is amazing. It's a sphinx in the background, but it's going to play more of a background role, so what really has been a bit of a challenge is getting all of these props together from a weightlifting machine to wind machines to televisions. It's this incredible list. The strip might be one of the worst plays I've ever read, um, but it also might be one of the best. Um, it doesn't make sense in a traditional way. Um, it's very unusual, but the more we've worked on it, the more we've tried to make not a rational sense, but a sense that makes sense for the characters themselves or for the odd kind of fictional world that Naji's imposed on the USA. I'm actually just really looking forward to seeing it go on the stage and it's such a sort of unique and odd um, piece of theatre that um, I think it should be really enjoyable.